Hello everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to my channel and this is a, just a, a video on the Clifton Rail replacement bridge that is happening at the moment. So uh, this at the minute is what you're seeing is Sunday the 4th of January and it's been demolished uh, as we speak and through the night they'll be clearing it up. Um, just a bit of context, um, Penrith is south of Carlisle and north of Kendall. Uh, it's in the middle of Cumbria. And this bridge, basically they've started work in um, 2024 uh, to prep it. Um, and then in spring uh, last year, um, we had lane closures of the M6 and speed restrictions. And um, this weekend they've started demolishing it. And next weekend... Um, which is the uh, kind of like 10th uh, and 11th, they will be moving the new bridge into place. Um, basically, the bridges had to be replaced because it was designed not really for the amount of traffic that is... Um, uh, it's been... Well, it's not been able to take. It's only been able to take one train at a time which has caused delays so it's um it's causing causing delays on the rail network and they've basically wanted to to replace it so um a couple of uh, facts for you um it's um 60 years old it's going to be um the new design is going to be 130 meters single span with no uh, supports in the middle and this is costing 60 million pounds and it's going to be finished uh, in the summer of 2026 and it's between junctions 39 and 40 uh, the Shap and Penrith junctions and trains have not been able to go across this bridge for 16 days once it's been um, completed so I'll just talk you through um, what the drone saw today and I got permission from Network Rail and um, Highways to film this video um, across uh, the motorway section you can see there that the uh, dumper trucks have been taking away all this concrete that's been broken up by the JCBs and the pneumatic drills that they've got. And then they've taken it away and then they've got another digger uh, to kind of crush it down smaller. And presumably this will be reused uh, as hardcore uh, somewhere. You see they've got protective matting down on the, uh, on the tarmac of the M6 just to protect the surface. They've got water around all these tanks to kind of keep the dust down. But here they've got a really nice little um, uh, tag system going. So one comes in, tips it. The other empty one that is just tipped then goes off. And basically these guys have just been driving, I think, probably all 14 hours, 12 hours, whatever the shift patterns are for, for these guys. Just in the background there, you can see the new bridge on wheels. It's going to be wheeled into place, uh, not craned into place. So they're going to turn, presumably, uh, next weekend. It's all fitted. They've got all the rails uh, down. They've got the uh, overhead um, uh trunk in there they haven't got the wires in place yet but that's pretty much ready to go so as soon as that goes into place next weekend network rail guys will be on there um putting all the new wires and the cabling and these are just the last little bit so they put these containers underneath the old bridge just to support it and so to take it down in sections load that um, concrete is filled with uh, the metal inside it the, the reinforced metal that they put inside these bridges to kind of give it stability so all that has to be kind of stripped away and uh, no doubt recycled. Uh, so they're really on, on with it. So probably through the night tonight, in 4th into the 5th of January, um, they will no doubt clear all this and go up and down with uh, making sure there's no debris on the carriageway. Um, and presumably there's no central reservation, so they've got to install a central reservation as well before the motorway up opens tomorrow morning at um, yeah uh, eight, eight no five a.m. it is. So yeah, central reservation's got to go in there as well. So they've got a, still got a lot of work to do with uh, f you know fourteen hours left. Um, a lot of the work to the side that could probably take them for the next couple of weeks to kind of um, uh, sort out. But basically, the whole site's not going to be disappeared until summer of this year. But trains will be running on it in, in the next couple of weeks after next weekend. So the constant um, wagons are keeping going and going. 
and they've got these containers to support it. You can see there they've got supporting bankments with the steel piles that they've piled in to keep that bankment uh, stable. They've got the water there, uh, and just interesting just to see how many diggers and how many people are actually on the ground and and uh, basically demolishing this. Um, massive engineering feat and I think this is the first time that the M6 has been shut uh, for two days on the trot and there's been massive diversions across the M, uh, uh, the A6 uh, around Penrith but also uh, on the A6 um, network and this is the new bridge uh, rails not down but the, um, the stones are uh, but presumably those rails will be already precast and they'll be already kind of strung together in i don't know 10 meter sections and i'll just bang them in quite quickly um so that would be a, a quick job but you can see the the wheels there you can see the the digger that he's sifting through all oh, that uh that rubble there just moving it up separating the cables to one side uh, and all the, the steel so thanks for watching a bit of an interesting video uh, and maybe post another one next week thanks for watching